नमस्कार एक एवं स्त्री चेहरा साथ मुलाकात करी है जैसे कैमरा सामने जोया पीछे मोटा भागना लोग ओखवा है पता ए चेहरा करता यात्रा वे रसप्रद है तब जैसे कल्पना न कर सको ए समय में एक सोल वर्ष की छोकरी आने कहे कि ये एक सन्यासी प्रेम में है एना पी ए आखू जीवन एवं रीते जीवे पी ए सन्यासी जीवन की आसपास सौ महत्व चेहरो बनी उभरे है जे जेल में रहे बहार आए फरी पाचुता जीवन एटूज अद्भुत रीते शुरू करे ए धर्मनी ए चेहरा फिलॉसॉफी बधूज समझव है एमने पास थी ये समझव है कि शू खरेखर एमने जीवन में आ रीते जीव्या पी एम पस्तावो है कि नॉर्मल लाइफ जीव शकाती थी कि पीछे ये खुश है जे जीव्या रीते अपनी साथ माँ आनंदशीला है Ma'am, thank you so much for joining us. Pleasure is mine. Ah, uh, and I just want to understand that are you the same Sheila who was at the age of sixteen, who was saying that I am in love with some sannyasi? I was in love with Bhagwan himself. Yes, <laughs> and I am still the same Sheila, very much in love. and adventurous well i took the risk of falling in love with a man like bhagwan <laughs> that is already a adventure statement very true yeah and what was your family background uh, were your parents okay with falling you in love with bhagwan osho to go with ashram and to do all the activities it was my father who brought me to bhagwan hmm my father was a man self studied scholar hmm hmm and he felt that bhagwan if he lived long he would be second buddha he also said the bhagwan has a saraswati on his tongue hmm with this introduction he brings me to learn something from bhagwan hmm and truly i have learned much from him and at the very first sight you fall in love with him uh second sight second sight okay yeah first sight i was only 16 year old mm. i didn't understand my feeling mm. i would today say yeah i had glimpses of the mm. love i felt for him mm-hmm. but then when i was 21 years old and went again to visit him mm. that's when i was so clear and no doubts in me that i was in love with bhagwan i was able to decipher my emotion then hmm. clearly in between that time i think you married with i was yeah. married and i was in us studying mm hmm yes and you bring back your husband also in india i <laughs> brought back my husband hmm. and he also falls in love with bhagwan oh <laughs> yeah he was a sanyasi too right yes he was she... initiated also and when you lost him uh, don't you feel at that time to leave all these things ashram and everything and go back go back with the normal so called normal life we we all live no way <laughs> no way <laughs> You never felt like to no go back way. to that normal life. That would be like throwing away my life's fortune. Okay. And what is that difference, which we called we are living normal life, and we see that sannyasis are not living that normal life? That is uh, one's perspective. Sure. And uh, people. who feel they live normal life they like to live safe mm without conflicts without contradictions and for me contradictions and the lifestyle of sanyasi 
was very much adventurous. Mm. I had a purpose in life. Mm. And purpose was to know life fully. Okay. And at the age of 73, uh, do you feel that you achieved that purpose? Definitely. Still with that purpose. And if I look back to my life, I don't think there is another woman exists who has had mm -hmm. the intensity of the life that I have lived. Mm. And creativity that we had learned by being with Bhagwan, hmm. the understanding of psychology, understanding of self hmm. and environment. There were profound learnings there. What was the content which made you all people crazy for Bhagwan? Beautiful man. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, yes. <laughs> and his analysis of life, analysis of scriptures, analysis of wisdom, hmm. so logical, so understandable, and so penetrating. Mm. That uh, if you have intelligence, you will not pass by without touching it. Mm. Mm. That's why Osho was considered the god of intellectuals or wealthy people? He was, for me, a genius with photographic mind. I had opportunity to work with him closely. Mm. And his ability to analyze, that was unthinkable. Mm. His penetration to see through the truth, Durkin Dirk, hmm. within seconds, remarkable achievement. True. Sure. And you say God of reach <laughs> because poor are hungry. They don't have, through their hunger, they are unable to think, think beyond their, that. Beyond that. Hmm. And such luxury mm. of men like Bhagwan, mm. you have to have full stomach. In fact, abundantly full stomach mm. that you want to think of something beyond stomach. Mm. Sure. Uh, do you think that in, even in recent time, uh, Osho's philosophy is uh, popular but still limited to his opinions on sex and on personal life? No. He spoke about it. Hmm. He spoke about understanding one's own sexuality. Hmm. And he uses beautiful subjects like Shiva and Parvati hmm. to explain the secrets mm. of human basic energy, sexual energy. He was a man beyond today. His perception was uncanny. For me, we should be grateful that we have a man like that in our culture, 
in mm. our society, in our land. But somehow, we are so blind, we don't see the diamond among us. Mm. I would say I have only praise for Bhagwan. I have only high respect and pride in me of Bhagwan. Hmm. Then why the Indian society, even the society of United States of America, where we consider that rule of law is at most, even they had not accepted. Let me ask you, is the rule of law at most? It is considered or called, <laughs> but it is not, yes, no. it is not. Hmm. We have to be honest. Yes, about yes, it, it is not, it is not. It is not. Hmm. I would not consider or compare Bhagwan with the rule of law what America and India lives but hmm. Bhagwan is a category of his own. There are no comparisons there. Hmm. But there were fear amongst people that the philosophy of uh, Bhagwan Osho will damage the culture of Indian society, the fabric in which Indian people used to live, that their family system. In fact, Bhagwan is the only person who has spoken about all scriptures of India. India, sure. All gods of India, mm. all philosophies of India. No other person has done that that I'm aware of it. Mm. So where does the fear come? Fear comes that while doing this, maybe he's pointing basic failures mm. of these scriptures. And we don't like to look at failure or mistakes. Sure. But uh, and fear comes from there. Hmm. Hmm. The system which has come along since so many thousands of years, and if somebody will awake and he will break all the laws made by them. Sure. Yeah, because norm is what we are comfortable with. We like hmm. to go where the crowds go. Hmm. Hmm. No, only because insecurity. Hmm. To feel safe, true. Yeah, hmm. insecurity. Yes, yes. And Bhagwan is teaching us, telling us to break away from the norm and become yourself. Hmm. Get your own identity, get your own perspective and don't worry about anything. Mm. Move forward. This kind of fearlessness, mm. crowds don't like, masses don't like. You, you spent months in jail. Uh, your life is like ups and downs, ups mm -hmm. and down, and so many things. At any point of time, you feel that you are alone, you are lonely, and you should not have done that. No. You never felt that? No. And I will probably never feel it. Because who is lonely? People who have their partners, their children, their family, mm. they feel lonely. <laughs> yes, true. I, I have myself. Mm. 
and I'm my best friend. I, I have no reason to feel lonely. I can occupy myself well. My happiness does not depend on other. I am happy hmm. because I have me. Hmm. Sure. <laughs> Osho's legacy isn't in right hand? If it is in my hand, it is in perfect hand. <laughs> and I carry his legacy in my heart. Hmm. If it is in other people, it doesn't interest me. For other people, they can do what they want to do. Hmm. But as long as I am alive, hmm. it is within you, intact. Hmm. Because ashrams are considered as a property now, uh, not just ashrams. Uh, books of Osho's are like they still they are the best sellers. Books written by Osho, uh, audio books, and everything. Um, Osho, physically, uh, he is not here, but everybody listens to him. Everybody even, he was ahead of his time. So now it is the time where people uh, connect with Osho. Now is the time to talk about that commune, that Rajneeshpuram, that things. But do you think that is it possible now? To talk about it? Uh, to, to start something, can, to start something like that. <laughs> no. <laughs> I am alive. Yes. I was part of that commune. Hmm. I was part of Bhagwan's dream. Hmm. He trusted uh, his dream in my hand. Hmm. Yes. I can talk. You fulfilled that dream. Right. Sure. And I can talk about it if nobody else talks about it. It's their problem, hmm. not mine. And I talk about it every chance I get. Mm. Mm. I give interviews day in and day out. Sure. And every time the central theme is Bhagwan mm. and his teachings, Rajneeshpuram, mm. and our dream that we had. Mm. Uh, collectively to be around Bhagwan mm. and his teachings. You consider experiment of Rajneeshpuram as a failure or as a success? 100% success. Success? 100% success. I sit and talk with you about it. It is a success. <laughs> It is a success. Mm. Something that is dead and lives million years is not success. Mm. Something comes but will be talked about million years mm. to come. That's success. And it's not even hundred years he's gone. True. Sure. And whole world knows him. Mm. People who are against Bhagwan, against me, make documentary films, mm. uh, interviews, mm. but they're not coming forward. They, people take them as their own negativity. Hmm. I can show you how many letters and emails and uh, Instagram posts and Facebook uh, posts hmm. where people now say, we saw your dedication. We mm. saw your hard work. 
and your conviction hmm. of your moment with it. So it is backfiring on these people who write negative things or present <coughs> negative things about Bhagwan hmm. or our moment or our that idea basically. Right. Hmm. Then why Bhagwan at last said that you betrayed him or something? And <coughs> he said, he makes that statement. Hmm. It can be number of reasons, the law, which we spoke about, wonderful law. <laughs> of United States. Right. <laughs> His lawyer may have told him to hmm. state that. Hmm. May possible? Yeah, I'm sure it's possible. You sure that that it was the only reason? You are sure about it? I know my life. Hmm. I know my dedication. Hmm. Nobody has to tell me about that. They can recognize now. But. Nobody has to tell me or question me on it. What happens in America? Somebody is arrested. Hmm. They were afraid. I was arrested before Bhagwan. Hmm. That I will speak against Bhagwan, hmm. the lawyers. Hmm. I know the lawyers he had. Hmm. I know each one of them. Yes, they were with that commune only, right? They, they were from <coughs> commune, hmm. the, uh, <coughs> main lawyer. Hmm. But that is their standard thing. Hmm. That you say things that are acceptable by prosecutors. Hmm. And you find your way out. Bhagwan was 15 days in the mm. prison. Yes. They let him out quickly. That itself tells me enough. Exactly. And they paid a lot of money to get him out, which is correct, and they did it. Mm. I had no money. Mm. I had left Bhagwan without anything. Then how can you still consider uh, Osho Rajneesh as a Bhagwan when he left Why you behind? Not? Why not? Tell me. But he left you behind. Uh, he doesn't take anything on his own. He just say uh, he he just say some words, few lines that it was all done by Manan Shila, and you were in the jail. And look at the public. What do you have to say about public? Nobody questioned him. Yes. He says something nasty hmm. and nobody questioning, questioning him. him. Yes. That says something about both sides. Hmm. Is that not? But and still you love him the most. Exactly. I'm the only one who says that it doesn't matter what he said doesn't affect me. His trust in me is utmost. Sheila could do no harm to him. Hmm. And in 1986, he takes his words back. Hmm. So, after that episode, you never met him, right? No, I didn't. Hmm. When I left him, I left. And hmm. it is his lesson I was following. Hmm. He used to say, move forward and burn your bridges behind. Hmm. Sure. I followed his teaching throughout my prison time. So I am a living proof that this man's teaching works. 
Does Osho himself follow his le lessons? To me, it doesn't matter. He you just a, love him and love has no conditions, nothing. Right. It is like a painter paint his beautiful painting. Mm -hmm. But does he paint himself? It, okay. <laughs> you, <laughs> Understood, yes. Yeah. That was not my outlook. Mm -hmm. I was okay. there to learn from him. Mm. He was not there to learn from me, but I was there to learn from him. Mm. And learning is important. And you learn for a life, like you created Puna Ashram, then left it, went to America, created Rajneeshpuram, left it, and again you have created something in Switzerland also. Right. So. Don't you feel sometimes you get irritated that why to start everything from scratch? It's hard work, that much I can tell you. <laughs> to start from the scratch. Yes. But that perseverance mm. is very important in a learning process. Mm. In learning process, if you don't have perseverance and motivation, you cannot move forward. Sure. And life is to move forward. Mm -hmm. uh, lastly, uh, we have uh, some typical perspective or reservation for Gujarati family. Uh, family who is living in Mumbai, the, the typical Gujarati things we understand about them. Uh, you were from that family and still you are saying that you had all the freedoms. You, you are what you were. Mm -hmm. So, was it your upbringing that makes you like this? is very important for all children and all parents. Today's upbringing is often mm. to blame parents. And parents have no time for children mm. because life is life. hard. Mm. They have to earn. It was not different from my parents either. But my father chose to spend time with us children when we were young. Hmm. My father had a very uh, profitable job. Hmm. And he, at the age of 40, said, now my children need me. He gave up the job. Oh. And he said, my wife needs help now. We were six monsters, no? <laughs> <laughs> so, hmm. it was wonderful. And father saw to our growth in terms of sport, terms of education, hmm. terms of understanding, awareness and consciousness. I remember I was five years old, sitting in father's lap together with my other siblings, and father was reading Khalil Gibran to us mm -hmm. on wow. vacation. Yeah. It was... Mm. He would take us out of the school to travel with him by saying what we will learn traveling with him will be more than sitting in a school, school room. Sure. Sure. He gave us freedom. My father used to never say he had four daughters and two sons. He said, I had six children. I had six children. 
Mm. And we are, even today, unfortunately two of my siblings have died mm. due to age. Mm. Um, but we are still four together, just same when we were little <laughs> children. Oh. <laughs> we used to play and we, uh, when we are together, it's just fun time. Were they all with you in your bed times? You don't consider it as a bad time, but still it was a bad time. They were there to uh, support me, but my own pride. Hmm. I never told them my hardships or anything. Hmm. Even yesterday my sister was complaining about me breaking my wrist. Hmm. And I said, why are you complaining? I'm not complaining. Mm. He said, you should complain a bit. <laughs> <laughs> That's what siblings say. Right. Very true. <laughs> uh, in recent time, you know, there are so many godmen or what you can say, the Xerox of Osho in recent time. I mean, you, you heard about Nityananda? No. Okay, uh, there is one island he purchased uh, somewhere, I, I don't know, near USA or something. That, that name is Kailasa or something. And when we, when we go through his websites or his things, then we realize that uh, there are so many people who are trying to be Rajneesh Osho. Right, so people are copying Bhagwan. Hmm. And that in itself is below their dignity. Yes. Use Bhagwan's teachings, definitely. Hmm. But give Bhagwan the credit for using his teaching. Hmm. Have a bit respect. Hmm. Quote his name. Hmm. Give credit where it deserves. But uh, all these values they have not learned. They have considered that it as a business model. Actually, many people are applying it but and they are getting success. Business model too. One <laughs> should give copyright. <laughs> oh, sure. Yes, yes, yes. It's a shame, but it talks about their quality. Hmm. It doesn't say something bad about Bhagwan. Hmm. It talks about these people's quality. They steal material from others sure. and resell it. Hmm. And you are Gujarati, you are from Vadodara only. So, <laughs> yes. Uh, will you say anything in Gujarati to people who are watching you in Gujarat? <laughs> well, if <laughs> I don't want to shame them, but I will try. Anything about love? Because we have yeah. different definition of love nowadays. <laughs> oh, that is difficult. difficult. Love is such a subject and if I don't have the right words... words very true. <laughs> skip uh, skip that subject. I will make a massacre of it, you know. <laughs> but I ke that original Gujarati. Chu. I was... I Maro Janam Ayya Baroda Ma Putri Jampa Ma Thayi Yeah And um, I come from a loving family Oh, that's English Who goes Premar Parivar Ma Thi Aushu Premar Parivar Ma Thi Aushu That's a bit high Gujarati Premar Parivar <laughs> Tamaru Jevu Gujarati, Evu Maru Angrezi, but still I tried to <laughs> do a conversation. Kijay the locus of the Ponsi Jaivat. Bilkul Sachi Vachi. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs>